Hey everybody, I just finished my initial seasoning on last year's, November's Black Friday special event griddle at Walmart. This is the Blackstone 28 inch three burner Pro Series. If you had a chance to pick this griddle up at Walmart and there are still some of these out there, you got an incredible deal. The Pro Series gray paint job, the upgraded soft touch knobs, other features like the counter height shelves, the cutaway, tool pegs, even a magnetic tool strip. And with attached hood, the case was closed. A beautiful Colorado day to make elk burgers. Check out this 15 and a half pound block of bacon that I picked up yesterday. I'm gonna wear some gloves so I don't have to run inside to wash my hands as much. Beautiful strips of smoked bacon glistening in the sun. I have all three burners on the new griddle set to low. So let's drop the bacon. And I like to use the extra large griddle press to keep those flat. Press the bacon down and just move the press around frequently. Beautiful flat looking strips of bacon. A griddle press, a bacon press, and temperature control. Two of the things you need to do to get perfect looking bacon. Then my third piece of advice is to lay the bacon in one flat straight pile. Then we can use the griddle press to keep it all flat. I want this bacon to look absolutely perfect. I don't want it to burn, so I'll either leave this burner on low or just turn that off all together. Then all I have to do is frequently check the bacon and rotate the strips from time to time. Again, my reasoning for this is to get perfect looking, perfectly cooked strips of bacon. Now this is the first time I've ever cooked on this griddle and hopefully you can see everything because the lighting here at high noon couldn't possibly be any worse. A reminder, I have this burner off so these are here, they're plenty warm, they're still cooking and we're just going to keep pressing that bacon. This method takes a little bit longer, but if you're willing to follow these steps, you can end up with picture perfect bacon. Let's get the bacon press out of here. I'll bring over a little warming rack, grab those beautiful strips of bacon. And that is what I'm talking about. Then I can move my warming rack over here to the left and my Blackstone butter roller. I'll show you what's going on there in a minute. I'm gonna move that over here to the right side of the griddle. Left side where the bacon is, still off, but I'm gonna turn the other two burners up to high. So a shout out to Ethan. Ethan is CJ, the Blackstone bartender's nephew. He gave me the idea of putting garlic in the butter roller with the butter. That's gonna allow us to get a killer garlic butter hamburger roll. Check out the mountains today, folks, look at that. Now it's time to break open the elk patties. This is from my elk last fall. We process our own wild game. My wife helps trim the meat. We grind it, we mix it, we make our own patties. And I'll put those half thawed patties straight down on a blazing hot griddle top. And I'm gonna sprinkle those with Blackstone's whiskey burger seasoning. Meanwhile, I'm gonna chop up a fresh onion on the Blackstone side shelf cutting board. Time to flip the patties. A little canola oil and those onions straight down on the griddle top. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so of course I have some Kerrygold 
cheddar cheese. Some of those lightly sauteed onions. Followed by strips of that perfectly cooked bacon. And you know what time it is? Butter bam, butter bam. Butter bam, butter bam. Butter bam, butter bam. I, I just was going to fold it on because I was going to get one. And this is what blows my mind about cooking bread, about toasting buns on the Blackstone. Look at that. Toasted to perfection every time. Mayo, mustard. Just like that. A couple of these pickles. And don't forget the crown. Take a look at that. Let's cut this apart and do a quick taste test. Mm. Would you get mad at me if I said, take a look at that again? Hi. Levi, Mr. Butterbam is here, filming these back porch, highly edited videos, solo. I don't like doing it anymore. I like doing those live videos. So maybe you'll be looking for me doing a little more live videos anymore. I can't tell you how long it takes when you want to get good shots and you're filming solos. So I need a stress reliever right now, Levi. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you're checking out Blackstone on their social media. Doing a lot of lives over there now, as well as lives with Nate and Desiree. Until next time, this is Todd saying praise the Lord and pass the Elk Burgers.